Shalom everyone, I pray that your day is going well. My name is William Winfield and I'm just glad that you guys are tuning in and watching this video. The truth about marriage today, everybody's excited to be married. Everybody wants to have the wedding ring and the nice reception and the woman want to have the nice white dress and the man want to have the nice fly tuxedo and all these things. And they do not know what they are walking into. People want to be married so bad, so bad. <laughs> I am now convinced in this generation that people do not want to get married to please God. They use that as a label. They use it as a label, but deep within they want to fulfill what they want all along. Sex. And they wonder why a lot of people get divorced. Because people walk into a marriage thinking that, yes, now that I'm married, I can have sex all I want in the morning, in the night, in the evening, whenever I want. Which is true. But the issue comes now that you're thinking about more sex than the one who has put the two together into one flesh. That becomes the problem because now you're interjecting sex into the twine that God made you guys one. But now that since you guys thinking that you're pleasing God, you're really fornicating. How am I fornicating if I'm married? Because now you're putting an idol before the one who has made you guys one. What is that? Sex. Many people want to be coming, want that ring. To symbolize that, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm married now and this and that. Four months later, they're arguing like crazy. They want to file for divorce. They say that they love each other, but they really don't because they're really just feeding each other's need just as if you were single and doing what you're doing in the world. Marriage is not based off sex, even though sex is wonderful in the eyes of God. Catch that, in the eyes of God. But when you truly love God, you will put nothing above him, nothing above him, you see marriage does not start at the altar, excuse me, at the altar, after the altar, at the reception, but after everybody's gone, after everything is been set beautifully, the reception room, the table, the chairs, the nice decorations, yes, 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 of course, I'm happy I'm married, of course you are. Of course, especially the wedding reception, of course, of course, the wedding reception, you're going to be happy in the wedding ceremony, of course, because everything looks beautiful, but what happens when God shuts that light off, and he says, okay, now it's just you and you, and the vows that you made before me, because engagement is just like marriage, but you're not supposed to have sex, but it does show that marriage is just a public ceremony reflecting off what you did in private in the engagement. You see, a lot of people today are being deceived about marriage. And if you walk into a marriage thinking that sex is the object to keep your husband, you're totally wrong. Because what happens when you two start arguing? What happens when you two wake up to each other and you're like, oh, do I really want to be married? What happens? This is why you need to slow your roll. Stop reflecting off other people's marriages. Stop reflecting off other people's opinions about marriage. I guarantee you, once you focus on Yahweh, God, he will open the door for somebody wonderful to come into your life. But when you try to force it, that's when it becomes the issue. It's like you driving in snow and you're trying to speed to work knowing that there's a lot of snow. And you press that brake. Obviously, you're going to slide. Why? Because you're forcing yourself to get to work rather than take your time and trust the Lord. You see, every... Single opinion about marriage is different. But God is not different. His objective of marriage is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. 
God doesn't want you walking into a marriage thinking that it's just about sex. It's not. So stop thinking that marriage is something beautiful. Because if truth be told, it's not beautiful. Because if anything, you get more attacked. If anything, you're going to go through more hardships. Why? Because the enemy knows that if he can stop the marriage, he can stop expanding the kingdom. Why? Because man and woman praying together, one of us, just one, can destroy the kingdom of darkness. But now you have a man and a woman praying together, fasting together, reading their words together. What? The enemy does not want to see that. That's the most powerful thing in a marriage. It's not the sex. It's not the bedroom. Even though that's beautiful. But the main objective that God has put you two together is for the simple fact. To be in the reflection of heaven on earth. To reflect out and to draw those who are lost in. For them to say, wow. Wow. That's what it is. They've been together for 60 years. Wow. Marriages today don't even go past two years. And they have so-called God in their marriage. What I'm telling you is this. If you're walking into marriage and you're expecting that sex is the main object. Which, sex is beautiful in God's eyes. But don't think that that's the objective. The objective is for you two to be a reflection here on earth. God bless y'all. Peace. And I pray that you all are blessed.